Jennifer has been a committed primary care nurse for over 10 years. She's proud of the care that her team provides, but she's recently learned about health inequities, which are unfair differences in health outcomes that occur because some people have systematically experienced greater obstacles. These are based on factors like race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, socioeconomic status, disability, and where they live. Jennifer's team strives to provide high quality services to every patient, but she's concerned that health inequities prevent some patients in her clinic from achieving their best possible health. The good news is that with new clinic practices, healthcare inequities can be identified and eliminated. Drawing from lessons learned in other healthcare settings, Jennifer and her team began recording patient characteristics such as race or ethnicity, preferred language, and gender identity in medical records. They screened patients for social risk factors like food insecurity, interpersonal violence, and unstable housing. And they examined their clinic's data on a regular basis to identify quality metrics that were lower for marginalized groups. When they identified such differences, they obtained feedback from patients and other stakeholders to understand why each inequity was happening and to find ways to address it. Addressing inequity often involved testing equity-guided improvement strategies, like tailoring outreach and clinical practices to better support marginalized patients, earning the trust of patients who have been disenfranchised, adapting treatment recommendations to the mental, physical, and social needs of patients, and forming partnerships with community groups to provide more comprehensive support for patients experiencing social risk factors. By tracking their progress and remaining open to change, equity is now a central part of the clinic's culture. The team now makes better use of resources and delivers more inclusive and personalized care. Patients from historically marginalized or disadvantaged groups are also more satisfied and are experiencing better health outcomes, while all patients have benefited from a general rise in quality care. For Jennifer and her team, making the commitment to eliminate health inequities was worth the investment.